Let's start with the data preparation. As you know, in uh, in R, usually we have a working directory. So usually this working directory, it's a, a folder. You can put it on desktop. So I put a folder on desktop. I call it working di di directory ANN. Uh, why we need to define this? Because now whatever you plot, whatever you uh, uh, do, and if you want to import something, it will everything will be inside their working directory. So you won't uh, lose the files and you go and search for it. Also, if you want to uh, import something if inside the working directory, no need to write the uh, root again, the, 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 the path. No need to write C, users, blah, blah. You just need to uh, write the name of this uh, uh, variable or you need the uh, if it's inside the folder inside the working directory you just write the folder name and then you bring your files from inside so we will define this I created the folder on desktop okay I set it also the library inside the working directory I uh, defined library our library here also I will send it as attachment in case some uh, of you have a low uh, internet connection uh, later no need to read uh, to to install the libraries it's already uh, it's there uh, so you can install it locally no need to import it uh, download from the internet okay so all the libraries will be here so now when you define the uh, libraries okay now it was oh, now uh, we are in the beginning of the uh, course so it's empty now uh, but along the yeah, processing I will install too many things so it will go directly to the library you can take it later all the libraries ready for you uh, worth to mention that this is the latest version of our studio as well so uh, you can check the version here okay so um, here's this the the version of our studio also for the uh, R uh, I think also the R it's coming with the with the latest version okay yes so, so it's uh, the 3.52 uh, uh, up to today it's it's the latest one that I use uh, even though I don't prefer to use the uh, up-to-date R version actually because of the uh, compatibility for the packages uh, but this one fair enough today uh, it will be good for us some of the uh, comments I am putting uh, uh, hashtag that's mean uh, no need to uh, follow it it is just some test uh, lines uh, you can just skip it so firstly we start with the training data a training data I will call it data underscore train and the folder here it's about the Excel one that you remember we created the data we called training the previous steps so we will read it here so the function is read uh, csv okay control r so on the right side you can see start with the first data frame now we have this data frame it has 1790 observation as you remember it was the number of the uh, rows and nine uh, variables and the columns okay so we have the training and roughness uh, worth to mention in the testing uh, I think there is a problem with the we uh, I forget to add the roughness so along the processing later we will delete this roughness uh, from the training because in the testing doesn't we, we don't have uh, the roughness accidentally when I was cleaning the Excel I deleted but it's good now you know that when you delete something you need to unify your input so if if it's here it shouldn't be on it should be in the testing the same uh, variables uh, but if you want to skip the testing okay because testing it will just test the model the model already you will run it with this input so using this input you will predict the final map but because you want to see the testing how it's behaved so we need to remove this uh, anyway you will see this uh, along the processor the processing sorry uh, now if in case there is some uh, uh, missing data we need to uh, uh, the missing data omit delete the missing data okay now when we said 
uh, no data on it you can see here now we start to have some text which is uh, disturb uh, the uh, the data frame so we need to remove the in welcome attribute the one you see now by just defining again data frame okay so it's come back as before now uh, the variables actually here now you can see all the call numeric because there is no text inside so it's considered to be numeric even here integer or uh, decimal it's all numeric uh, just one point uh, about the land cover the land cover and the aspect originally they are categorical data as you know land cover we have as i remember we have seven classes <coughs> sorry and the aspect <coughs> sorry on the aspect uh, we have also categorical data start from the north north east east uh, east uh, south south uh, southeast after that uh, we continue south uh, west 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 north so almost there are nine or eight uh, aspects uh, so in this case we need to uh, make them as uh, categorical actually they are categorical so how to define those categorical into numeric then we can compare them and we can uh, use them in the analysis we'll start with the aspect here is the best of the co uh, piece of code that will help you convert the aspect from this uh, numerical but it's not numerical it's a uh, categorical now uh, and we converted as a numerical to be used so what we will do how we will do this actually the idea is simple behind it it's just to convert every aspect into number for example zero we have into 361 this is uh, the entire aspect why 361 because it won't be included the 361 it will reach until 360 so this one that it will uh, sh make sure that 360 because it's uh, it's available sometimes so it will be included in the aspects so we will add just uh, 61 just to say that above the 60 uh, uh, it's not uh, countable but 60 360 it's countable and then when we will do for every 45 degrees so 0 to 45 this is the first aspect it will take the label of a and after that 45 to 90 it will take the label of b and so on until we get all our uh, aspects okay so it will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 based on this 45 it's up to you if you want to make them based on 30 okay you move 30 30 uh, you need to understand how many 30s there is in the uh, 360 okay so if you deal with the 12 for example it's become 12 you need to add uh, more letters here okay otherwise uh, if the number of aspects will be less than or more than the uh, amount of letters uh, the function won't run it will tell you that it doesn't match so now the aspect we will call it the aspect training we said divide this aspect just first i wanted to show you the data you see you see the aspects we have from zero minimum to 300 almost uh, 60. so now we send the run okay uh, we took the aspect as factor and now it's become leveled now it's become a factor it has a level so what this level it's all about how many pixel from 0 to 45 it will go inside a so we will say the table we will say a represent 0 to 45 and we have 143 pixel showing to the, the aspect of 0 to 45 and we have 156 aspect uh, pixel 
or observation observed from uh, 45 to 90 and this is the summation of this will be 1788 which is our training data okay this is just we in case uh, we want to uh, check what does it the class it's it's fact it's factor okay now we will deal with this and we will convert this aspect into every aspect a or b or c it will be converted into variable individual variable and then we will delete this aspect so it will be like a b c d here we'll continue the variables based on the uh, individual letter so this is the base of code no need to un uh, fetch this code you just follow it don't just run it aspect equal factor and then flag c reduce c bind leveled this is the level that we have in function so just run it okay that's all now the names of the flags you see it became as the levels it will be a b c d this is the names uh, so now i want to connect this data frame with the flags flags will be you see a b c d until h you see in a it took only where is the value is less than uh, 45 so whenever it's less than 45 it will give you one b whenever the value between 45 to 90 it will give you one and if not it will give you zero that's all this is the old idea okay now please connect this data frame to the main data frame then i can my i have my uh, training data yes thank you connected now please remove this aspect otherwise it will be double factor i don't need any more aspect deleted minus nine I want to f search uh, aspect it will be uh, where in which uh, uh, number of column 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 correct number 9 remove it now uh, it's gone okay so now you got the idea uh, it's a simple idea actually just to convert uh, this one is very nice uh, uh, piece of code uh, here you can notice now uh, come to the oh um, if i want to keep the uh, the aspect for you just to compare actually but it's fine now uh, then if you want to add it back i just want to show you this between 0 and 45 you have uh, value of 1 and so on uh, i will just quickly run it back and i just want to show you actually it's very nice to see so just i will run it again uh, everything i will just run it and before i remove it yes we will just run it again okay so aspect came back i just want to show you when the aspect is there and the connection with the data yes a took 0 to 45 where is this 0 to 45 yes the first one 40 we have value it will go 0 continue whenever we have 0 to 45 it will give you a value so you can check you are looking with me now okay we have value here. you see this yes, because we are less than 45 what about b b is working from 45 to 90 so far nothing here maybe by just sorted let's see where is it yeah example this is the row uh, the observation number 972 you see less than 90 more than 45 we have value more than 45 we have value more than 45 we have value and so on like this as simple as like that just remove now the x uh, the aspect again okay now we'll come to the land cover we will do the same procedure with the land cover because again 
we will convert it into a categorical and from the categorical we will convert it to numeric okay so now we uh, start with the uh, land cover uh, setting if you like to check training data this sort of code here we should let's check actually here let's see the class of data train it's data frame okay so I think here like this one the training should be stay as factor otherwise as factor keep this so here we want to check this number here actually let's just check the number of 0 and 1 ok so we have now we can see how much zeros and how much value of ones we have inside the training ok so now we try to scale the data in order to uh, process the data with the neural network we need to scale the data so there is too many scaling types actually there is a Z is a score standardization there is scaling there is normalization and so on so in too many ways so and also you can see here the links to check uh, which one that it's useful for your data and so on okay but what we will use here in this application we will use the scale that depend on uh, the equation of the range which is will take the uh, center of the data okay so which we call it uh, unitization with the zero minimum this is the equation okay so the equation here it will follow uh, this x whatever the value that we have minus the minimum depend on the uh, divided by the range okay so this will be uh, the normalization uh, the scaling uh, equation and you can follow also this link and you can read more about uh, this equation so now here we will see that uh, uh, we will take the maximum or data train and the minimum and we'll do the scaled for training so scale training center will data it will be the minimum and scale maximum minus the minimum okay So now if you see that the new data is called the scale T, scale training. So it's the same as uh, the original data with 1788 observation with the 23rd, 23 uh, variable. But all of the data sorted from 0 to 1 now. Okay, so in order here, if you want to check the uh, data actually, which is uh, if you want to send it back. So if you are now within this 0 and 1 and you find that the value of 0 0.6, it's highly uh, effective in the prediction, you can use this equation to turn it back to understand uh, what does it mean uh, from the original data. I will show this also in a while.